Remember, Thomas and Mike, Michael Joseph, leaders of the Cornish House, Kirsty and Speed to Lundry, again, again, mad, the Alien Stopper. Sir Anthony Kingston. Sir Anthony Kingston. In walk I, Sir Anthony. My rules are firm but fair. If you're Cornish, you will hang. And that includes your mayor with this. My hangman's hemp in hand, a, a man that is not fit to hang, well, he's not fit to stand. Dear gentle bobbing folk, do not give up hope for his a weak and scrawny neck that peers a little bit of rope. Come here. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. What, what are they? they? What are they? What are they? His tongue! His tongue! His tongue! Thou art both, thou art weird. The old saying is a true saying. Never was wire coming to me here. Never was a tongue too long. Mess dame, heavy covers, gone as he dare. With a plan, he lost his language, lost his land. Okay. Hogan, this is the loser, Colonel. This is the Learn the beat of the dance, John Walt. Learn to suffer. In comes I, old Oliver Crapwell. Welcome or welcome not. I know what I expect the thing will swiftly be forgot. I'll drill a hole in the beast's nose, and therein put his string, and lead him around Bobman Town for helping Charles the King. Oh. Go I have him, I have him, I have him! What are they? What are they? What are they? It's knackers, it's knackers, it's knackers! Oh. <laughs> no more do you stand against me, though never have I fought harder. I've damned your stream and served your strength. Susquehanna mine, Minnesota, Brian! Pachuca, Mexico, for silver! Russell Wine, New Zealand, for manganese! Grimesthorpe, yeah, England, yeah, for coal! Zimmer and Jack, Tranquil, for gold! Keemano, Michigan, for copper! Copper! Oh, got the accent. Every, Every hole in the ground! <laughs> and the and the water. <laughs> Behold, and see what we have done! <laughs> we have slain this beast like the evening sun! Hogan, this devil, learn the beat of the dance, corporal, learn to suffer. Suffer. Remember your rules now, half in English, half in Cornish, depending on the colour of your shoe. Is that the play thing? Oh, here we go. Hold on. Ready? Ready there. I'm 
on the inside, pains on the outside, pains in his backside. Well, I can sort them all out. Can you have a look at this then, Doc? I'm going to try and bend over. But I'm afraid this beast is psychiatrically disordered, and he's a danger to himself and to other people. So I must administer some corrective Ooh. therapy. Ooh. 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 I call Miss Meta Minx, which I can say properly. Call the Minx. That'll be me. In comes I, Miss Media Mink, and gorgeous you are too. You'll have seen me on the box, presenting celebrity makeover show, and wearing designer frock. Inappropriately. He's got all a tremble now. The League of Friends of the Hospital have had to change their plan. Because the site they chose for their fate is full of travellers' caravans. If they ever get to clear it, the council's going to build a hundred homes on that land. No new jobs, no more school or services, but still the town expands. Our elected representative, the Right Honourable Scott Mann, is arranging GPS trackers for knives with some company from Taiwan. <laughs> but he's steadfastly supporting Boris in the Tory leadership race. Well, he is this week, because that could change if Hunt should take his place. Hunt? Yes, I said Hunt. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Just checking. Just checking, mate. Just checking. Which makes us think of Brexit. Oh, I know. But I've worked it out. You put your left wing in, you keep your right wing out, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. If you U-tip and you're blokey, then you turn about. And that's what it's all about. But here, the road works on the beacon and the parking by the jail means our fancy transport system regularly starts to fail. So, we'll make this beast a traffic warden to keep the vehicles moving. So the council can say, one fine day, the traffic is improving. Hogan disc and loser girl, disc and girl, learn to be He is unkempt, he is wild, he can't be tamed because he's nature's child. Can he be rude if denied a voice? Is he uncivilised if denied a choice? When he roams, you say he rampages, yet this is his own. Denied him for ages. We hear of widespread fear and alarm, but it's Tregeagle himself who calls that harm. His very existence is his only offence, and there rests the case for the beast's defence. Minus, minus one or two important lines. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're just defending one of your own. This beast is not mine and could never be. I'll call in some Petrox and you will say Petrox. <laughs> some Petrox and you will see. Call them Petrox. Petrox. Think of I your patron saint. My bones is in that box. Never let it be forgot. This town is St Petrox. 
I've seen this dragon in his lair out in Halgaver Mire. With God's good grace, I'll turn this beast and soon put out its fire. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. A splinter, a splinter, a splinter. Well, I'll be damned. You will be. So, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? The trial is done. The beast is free. Boom! <laughs> but there is one soul here who is guilty. Our verbal contract was perfectly legal. So I claim the soul of Justice Jan Tregeagle. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You want to do it? Run away! Good folk of Bodmin, let us hear the shout. Of Kernobis Viggen go ringing out. Kernobis Viggen! For once the truth has been revealed, the grievous wounds can start to heal. Whatever rumour you may hear tell, we know our beast is alive and well. And if you hear a roaring through the skies at night, it isn't our beast, it's Tregeagle in flight. Roar. Ladies and gentlemen, our sport is now ended. Come again next year. Tis recommended.
Thomas of Canterbury, grant them unto them eternal rest, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Please stay with us. We have some ale for you to drink, for your pleasure. So please enjoy this feast, this Bodmin and Riding Heritage Festival here in church. Please take your drinks outside and enjoy. Let us drink ale. <laughs> Round best. 
a minimum of three times a minute. We've done a shooting competition one year, a few years back, and one of my light imagery guys fired five shots in a minute. And it's 30 odd motions, one of them things to fire. If it fires. If it's damp, it won't fire.
I like the way that's still eating the hen with the ice. Come on. Century is a very different place. This town we're in now is called Bosbena. It was the center point of a trade route going from south coast to north, from Brittany to Ireland. And obviously, tin, timber, fires, and silk travel through this town on a daily basis. What we are going to show you today is the combat of the age, because it was a violent time. When you've got wealth, people want to take it from you. The Saxons wanted to take it from the corners. The Vikings just wanted to have the scrap. So, they fought. The first weapon we'll show you today, oh well, all of the first weapons we'll show you today aren't primarily weapons, they are tools. Because of those of violent age, being a warrior is an expensive hobby. So, we will start with the most basic weapon and tool available to man. And that is a knife. Or a sayax. Warriors with sayax, call them. Yes. <laughs> so, can't get the help. The Sayax is the mark of a free man. Being able to carry weapons meant you weren't a slave. So, we will see some fighting with the Sayaxes. Warriors, step forward. We got one down already. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. 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 I'
some spears for small and will be used to throw. We call these javelins today and hopefully Ori and Gid will demonstrate.
Timeout for armor of the period. Again, very wealthy. What does it do? Well, it's very good at stopping slices. What it's not so good at is being pierced by spears, arrows, or slammed into by the Archers, copper archers, are a rare commodity. They're good in battle, they're better for hunting. That our warriors have formed a shield wall to protect against the arrows. But you can't protect your legs. <laughs> we think those battles started with an exchange of arrows and spears. Remember the throwing spears from earlier? Right, start advancing, come on. <laughs> He is bullying, trying to get over the shields. He is, however, running out of space. You can't trust those Vikings, you never know when they'll go berserk. <laughs> right, get a rise! Ladies and gentlemen, that was a brief introduction to the weapons of combat techniques. Ah! 
Thank you very much, Shrimp and the Warriors of Ball Plays. If you'd like to come and learn more, you can see us at our encampment anytime.